From the battle at the polls to the battle for your health nowadays, a new report from the CDC says some 1,300 Americans have already died from the flu this year, and some 2,300 have been hospitalized. Take a look at this map right now. Well, as you see, with the red areas down south, especially the areas hit with the highest flu activity seems to be in the south, including Puerto Rico of all places. And you kind of think of uh, the flu as coming during the cold. Well, right now, Dr. Amish, Adala joins us to talk about uh, what to expect as far as this season. Uh, sir, explain to us first uh, why the warmer areas seem to have it and whether that changes as the winter goes on. It's definitely important to remember that flu circulates year round in the tropics. So when you look at a place like Puerto Rico, they don't really have a standard season like we do in temperate parts of the country, for example, the Northeast. So it's not always going to be the warmer areas don't have flu and the colder areas do. There definitely are factors that allow the flu to spread more in colder areas, but it's not always the case. And it often has to do with how connected that population is to the rest of the world and to the tropics. Dr. Della, talk to us about strain B. So flu B is one of the two major strains of flu that circulate every year. And we tend to see it occur more towards the end of the season. And what's happening this year is that the majority of our flu isolates are flu B. So that's kind of an odd thing to see in the very beginning of a flu season, but it's not completely unheard of. And the virus behaves more or less the same as the other strain of flu. And it is something that's contained in the vaccine. So this is more of a, a virological oddity right now. And for the general public, they still should get vaccinated with the ordinary flu vaccine. Well, how's it working this year? I got the flu vaccine because one year I didn't, I got really sick. So every year I get it now, but you hear every year, it's like, ah, oh, this year it's effective 29% or this year it's not effective. What's the read this year? How effective is it? So far, we, we, it's early in the season, so we don't have that number calculated yet. But it looks like what's circulating right now is largely matched to the vaccine. That could change as we get further into the, into the season. But it's important to remember, even if you get the flu vaccine and you get the flu, that flu is less likely to be severe, less likely to end up in hospitalization. You're less likely to die from the flu. So even though it might not always prevent you from getting the flu, it prevents you from really having a severe case. Is there anything else if you don't want to get the flu vaccine that you can do to just keep yourself safe, especially folks that are traveling so much? It's very hard to, to keep yourself safe from the flu because it's such a widespread infection during flu season. Some basic hygiene, like washing, washing your hands frequently when you're in public areas, can, can help. But really, the vaccine is the best preventive measure that we have, and that's why we encourage everybody to get the flu vaccine. Yeah, How many people die each year of the flu? Because this is a number that is sometimes stunning. So it's, it's in the tens of thousands, sometimes as many as 36,000 people already this year. Uh, so far, we've had about 1,300 deaths from flu. So this is something that will kill thousands of Americans. And there have already been 10 pediatric deaths from flu this season alone. Yeah. Um, uh, doctor, I'm going to say goodbye to you now, but I want you to say your name properly because I'm not sure I said it right. Would you say it so if people want to reach out to you, they get it right? Sure. Amish Adalja. I wasn't oh, even close. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for being with us. We appreciate Thanks, it. Sir.